Well, okay, guys, welcome back. So, what do you do to survive the Fox Sulk? Loki has been having a royal sulk since the video apocalypse, and we're not going to go into all the messy details, but he's been doing stuff behind the scenes. And Odin and I have been concerned that he is, you know, he is lately, he's sad, he's nervous, he seems overwhelmed by the world, all the gods do. I've been spending a lot of time with all of them at night, I've been working with them during the day, doing whatever I can to, you know, kind of calm them and ease their minds. And, you know, therefore, even though we saw the sulking behavior on top of all this, it was just totally unrelated, but sometimes dealing with Loki is 6D chess, and I can't even explain regular chess to you, so forget this, I got you. And, <laughs> thanks, dear. And, you know, still kind of mad back there. He got over it, now he's mad again. And, you know, he's been having a royal sulk, and so at first we've been indulging him. We even got him a couple games today, because I knew the grand lesson had that went successfully for him had the videos been blessed instead of blursed. Um, he, um, the idea was be a little looser with the money, don't be so tight when I'm getting gifts for the gods. You know, they understand us being careful and frugal, especially if we're on a really tight budget. They understand that, but every so often be nice. So I was nice today. I got him two, two games he wanted really bad. I got two or three, no, three, and they were only a dollar or so a piece, but still, that's usually more than the 49 cent bin, so I was like, oh, you know, I don't think he'll play these much, but, you know, whatever, I got it for him. He was really excited, he was really happy, we played them, and then he's like, while well, we're playing them, because what he wants is for me to replay every single Let's Play that we lost. I said, well, I can't reach backwards in time and get these. I said, we'd have to replay each game. And I said, one, let's wait to make sure YouTube doesn't, you know, reinstate those videos somehow. I said, it's been less than a week since we asked them. And I said, two, let's, um, let's see if anybody asks about them, you know, like nobody's asked so far. I said, let's, let's just wait, buddy. I offered to move forward with new Let's Plays. Okay, finally today, after a couple of days of this pouting, ex you know, him escalating with the petty petty little things that he's been doing, I said, okay, which which of the games do you want me to replay first? I don't think this is a good idea. I think it's going to turn people off the channel. But you know what? Okay. Mad. Very mad. So I could feel I was losing my temper. I sat down to film this video for you before, but I was a lot angrier. And, you know, um, I think a little light went on over a little foxy head. He's like, oh, she really is mad. Um, you know, it, and it's not about the video apocalypse. It's about his recent behaviors, what's making me mad. And so then I, I went, I watched videos about sulking, and they explain why people sulk, or their best guess of why people sulk. And, you know, he started to laugh a little bit, and I did too, and we were best buddies, and then somehow between us forgiving each other and both of us relaxing a little, he decided he's mad again. What do you do? What do you do? Like, he, he will come out of a sulk just long enough to have a laugh and cuddle with you, and then he's back, right back into the sulk. What do you do? Let him have a sulk. He'll get bored. He will get bored. He will realize that sulking fox gods that are off in the corner sulking and making sure you see how much they sulk, they're not getting love, they're not getting attention, they're not getting to play video games, they're not getting to be included in stuff. He he realizes that. And I know it seems cruel, but if this is an extended sulk, and you've done everything else, and you've done nice, and you've done what's, what's the matter, and you've done everything, there's nothing else you can do. You know, um, I when I was making the video, I was mad. I had quite a few suggestions I don't think he'd care for. But, you know, um, <laughs> I got, please, no. Um, you know, sometimes he has to write it out, like we do. We all sulk. We do. I, I sulk all the time. Um, <laughs> I get really mad sulky when things don't go my way, and I just stomp around the house, and everybody just doesn't talk to me for a while. Um, I've been sulking because I've had a cold. I've been doing everything else. Um. And, you know, it's okay. It's something we all do. And whether you believe, like, the one video we watched, it was like they think we get it from being babies, that when we're babies, those that took care of us, whether they were good, bad, or indifferent, they at least read our nonverbal cues enough to be able to know, oh, 
change the baby, feed the baby, whatever. Um, then when we first fall in love, because this is a phenomenon with people we love or care about, we expect them to read those same nonverbal cues and we expect them to read our mind. And, you know, when we first fall in love, it seems like you read each other's mind and you're so in sync and you love each other. And then they don't give you enough attention or they don't buy that croissant you wanted or they forget your favorite perfume or something. They make you mad. And it really hurts you because it's something you're really sensitive about. And you go off and you have a royal sulk and a nice pout and you're not talking to them. And, you know, um, I'm getting baby throwing the toys out of the pram. Yeah. And, and I don't quite get that because I'm not from the UK. But, yeah, I've been hearing a lot of UK Let's Players saying about the baby tossing the toys out of the pram. So probably applies. I'm thinking it applies here. It's, you know, the same language, just used differently. And I go, yeah, that's true. And, you know, it's, it's, he's, he's halfway now. You can see since he's chipping in, he's, he's, he wants to come for and be friendly, but this is a really good premium silk he's got going on. I think he's realized he's milked it for all it's worth. It's, it's not going to bring him any more games. It's not going to bring, um, he was sulking too, cause I didn't jump on to Walmart and, you know, start a trial and get him, like, a couple boxes of drink mix and stuff like that. And I know you're all probably going, oh, you're so mean to him. Do you know how much of the food in this house that we cook and we have are because Loki wanted it? <laughs> it's spoiled every day. And that's the thing. I spoil him to the point where and the first time he doesn't get his way, it's like a tragedy and he must act out. And I'm going, mm. But, you know, um... He will get over his sulks. And I, I said, you you want this stuff? I said, look, if you want this Walmart order so bad, if you want me to get this Walmart trail, and they'll probably end up charging me for it. It's, I said, we already have the Amazon, so we can get stuff delivered to the house. I said, I, I really keep meaning to cancel that and don't, because it ends up like every once, ever so often. I end up ordering just a couple things, and, you know, it covers the cost for that month, because I don't have to fill out X amount for free shipping. I said, um, you really want that done? You either get me a writing check, which we're never going to see again, or, you know, make the tip door sing or something. I said, you don't need every single thing you see. You know, that's unhealthy for you because you know how you get. And uh, I said, you know, we'll have those. We'll go get the drink mix and we'll go get the candies and stuff you saw. And once you have that, you want something else. I said, I know that. I'm the same way. We all are. But I <laughs> so we can't keep doing this, buddy really mad right now so you know he sometimes he just goes into a sulk and you have to wait it out um you can still be kind and loving but if it seems like not paying attention to the sulk is helping you can do that too you're not neglecting him he's not going to die especially if you feel like he's doing like petty things to get your attention so you know how mad he is <laughs> he just wants to be mad have you know he's mad he's having a royal sulk just kind of write it all just try to do your best um, and often he throws sulks when he's the person that has done something wrong, like he did video apocalypse, but somehow now it's my fault and I have to apologize. That used to drive me barking mad with him. And <laughs> now anymore, it's just like, I don't care, I'm so used to it. I go, mm hmm, he finally broke you. And you know, that's it. I'm just, I'm used to this. He's the one who caused the damage to the channel, but somehow he's the one that ends up with all the treats and gets the sulk and he's so hurt. <sighs> Welcome to dealing with Loki. You know, not everybody gets to see the sulking prince. Not everybody's this privileged, but he's sulking right now. I, I, I would tell him stuff my mom used to tell me. Like she, I think I've told you guys a couple times before. When I stroked the sulk like that, she would uh, get a tea towel and she would put a couple things in it. She would put it on like a stick and she would go, here's your stick and here's your stuff. Get out of the house. And I would go, <laughs> she would say, there you go, there's all your roughly positions. Get out of my house if you're going to be like it. I'll put them outside of a box on the side for you to get home. But, <laughs> back there. but you know, um, sometimes gods can do that. Sometimes gods can be unreasonable. You have to remember, I know a lot of us came from Christianity where God is always right and God gets to throw temper tantrums and throw all the toys out of the pram and just throw a gosh awful fit. 
Lucky doesn't get to do that. Our gods don't get to have that kind of power over us. If he throws a gosh awful fit, you can just watch him be on the floor screaming and howling like a toddler and go, that's really impressive, my lord. That's a really impressive god right there. I can giggle. He knows he's being childish. But he does it. Gods love him. He has more emotional range, as we've discussed in the comments section, than most gods I've met. And part of that emotional range is being a toddler. All the toys come flying out of the pram. He, and then he starts to scream because he wants them back. What I find useful to do sometimes is to watch those um, videos, uh, Reddit videos, on what's the most illogical meltdown your toddler ever had. I think we've discussed it a lot lately. That helps me because I'm like, yes, you, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, tell the story, tell him the story. There was, <laughs> I'm going to crack up laughing because this is still funny decades later. Oh, uh, back when I was, oh, probably in my early teens, if not before that, I and a friend were sitting, ex-friend, where I got, we're, um, we're sitting in an Eaton Park and we're sitting in the, you know, the kind of entryway area that they had like these benches and that you sit on. And there's a little toddler that they're famous for their smiley cookies. If you've never seen them, they're sugar cookies with icing on them and everything. And if you're a kid, you get one free. And they'd given the toddler to one. <laughs> and this toddler had been throwing a tantrum the whole time he was there. It was clear the parents were leaving early. And he was running around in the, the entryway area and he slammed his cookie threw the bag so hard that it fell out of the bag. It like just tore a hole in the bag. Hit <laughs> the floor and broke into four pieces. And then he started to scream blue murder. <laughs> and it was just hilarious. He was screaming and then he started jumping up and down on the pieces and kicking them all around. He <laughs> goes, that's going to fix the cookie, right? And I, I said to Loki, I said, you know, sometimes neither one of us or any of us are any better than a toddler. And they gave him another cookie. I said, it's okay, he can have another one because, you know, really, the 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 parents said, no, you're going to teach him a bad lesson. They said, look, he's just making more for us to clean up. Just take his cookie and take him onto the car. <laughs> so they took his howling child <laughs> out to the car. I got to bet his name was Damien. Ah! So, you know, um, sometimes, look, he's that toddler stomping up and down on his cookie that he broke. <laughs> kicking it all around because that's really going to fix things. So if you like what you see, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.